Here's the situation. You've got a vocal track and you want to add delay to a specific word or a specific phrase. How do you do that? I'm going to show you three ways to do that in Studio One, starting with my least favorite, working my way up to my most favorite. Here's a drum loop. Here's a vocal track. I wanna, I, I wanna delay. Now let's assume we want to take the last word of this phrase and add delay just to that word. The word, of course, is delay, which is appropriate. Let me just separate this so we can keep it visually separate. If you select it like this and double click, it'll create a new event. Right click, we can change this to, I don't know. Red. So we're going to delay that red section. All right. You don't have to separate it like this. I'm just doing it so you can see which section we're talking about. So what are the three different ways that we can add delay here? One of the simplest ones, but the one I almost never use, is to separate the region like I've done here. So separate it into its own little event. You can do that like I just showed you, or you can use like the slicer tool to slice it up and just select the one section you want. Okay. And then press F4. This opens up the inspector window, and then you're going to want to scroll down or look down in this bottom corner, and if you can't see it, if it's hidden like this, you're going to want to drag this up, and you'll see this is the name of the event that you have selected, and this is something called event effects. We're going to enable event effects on this specific piece of audio, on this specific event. So it is an event to which we're going to add an effect. And so now we could press F7, open up our effects over here and we could drag this analog delay into this section here under event effects or we could just pick it from the drop down here we could type in analog and there it is okay so now we have this delay plugin showing up here just like it shows up in the plugin list but you'll notice it's not on the track the track just has an EQ on it. It doesn't have, there's no delay on the whole track. This delay is only on that specific chunk of audio. And the settings look something like this. It is a, let's make it a quarter note delay. And let's see if it worked. So we'll just rewind a couple of measures and see. I wanna, I, I wanna delay, delay, delay. Done. The thing I don't like about this is it's really, we're putting a plugin in and it's really only ever applied to this one section. So if it's an entire song and you really only want this to happen once, this can work just fine. However, if you'd like the option to do it on more than just one phrase, for example, this isn't the best option. So the second approach involves an additional track. So we take our original track, we right click on the track somewhere and choose duplicate track. This creates a duplicate track with all the same settings and routings, but now we can do something different. We can drag this piece of audio that we want delayed, drag it down, and then we can put our delay on that entire channel. So let's set it to a quarter note delay. So now we have two, two channels. If we went into our mixer, we would see that we have two vocal tracks. We've got this one, the original, and then this one is the same, but it now has a delay on it. So now anything that's on this second track gets delay. So it should sound the same as before. I want to delay, delay, delay. Right? Delay. Advantages of this, we can EQ and compress and do whatever we want on this delayed track to make it sound however we want without affecting the original. Uh, we can also go in and take different sections if we want to have different words also added to this delay bus. It's not really a bus. I want to, I I want to delay, delay, delay. Downside of this is the delay is on the channel itself, which causes it to sound a little wonky. One solution would be to simply, instead of just moving the audio, you could copy it by holding down Option uh, on the Mac or Alt on the PC. Then you're creating a copy down here that you can then delay to your heart's content. I want to, I I want to delay. Delay, delay, delay. Better, but still not my favorite, but it's an option. If you have like a whole track, you want to delay everything and then kind of figure out which pieces you want to delay by, uh, you know, deleting certain ones, it can work. It's possible. I guess there's a workflow where that makes sense. But here comes my favorite way of doing this. So we're going to delete this extra track. My favorite way is to use sends. So sends make a lot of sense for things like delay. We can drag this delay onto the send section of the channel. We can give it the same settings as before, except now it's 100% wet because we have a separate place for just our delay signal. If we come into our mixer, you'll see a couple of things here. You'll see the original track. It has a send on it, and the send is coming over to this delay channel. 
and they're kind of two separate things. Only problem is, it sounds like this. I wanna, I wanna delay. Well, I don't, I don't want that, right? I just want it on the word delay. What can I do? Automation to the rescue. So what we want to do is automate this mute button or this power on off button to turn the vocal on for that send just on that phrase. So how do we do that? First thing you do is just click on the button itself. And then if you look up in this top left corner, you'll see that send mute was the last thing that you clicked on. You can click that little hand and drag it onto the track itself and it'll create an automation lane for you. And that automation lane is just this horizontal yellow line down here. So right now, the delay is on always. So if we come back in here and we turn the delay off, you'll see, you see the yellow bar there? It's moving top and bottom. Down when the delay is on, up when the delay is off. So all we want to do is turn it off. So now there's no delay happening ever. I want a delay. And I just want to turn it on for this section here. The way I do that is I just select this. I hover over the top and just pull that down. And it kind of pulls down just that section. So now we get this. I want a delay. 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 This is my favorite version because now we're not messing with the original audio at all. We're not moving or copying anything around. It can stay pristine and untouched. We can do whatever we want to it. But we're now sending a copy of that off to somewhere else. And if I want to have it on multiple phrases like I want it here, I just select it and change that automation. Uh, 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 and now it's there. Uh. This is my favorite way to do. You can do this for reverb, obviously, but it also works if you want to throw a big... Uh, I'm sorry, delay, obviously, but it also works if you want to throw a big reverb on something or any other effect. You can have it set up on a send, and you're just saying, send now. Okay, stop sending. Mm, send now. Okay, stop sending. And the cool thing about this is it's not volume automation. It's not overly complicated. There's a couple extra steps versus just putting the delay on one single event like I showed you in the first technique. But this one, to me, has a lot more benefits, even though it takes a couple extra clicks to get set up in the beginning. But especially if you tend to, to work like me and you've already got analog delay set up in your session, there's, it's already just sitting there waiting for something to happen, you can just add a send to any track, quickly get to the automation spot, and make changes there. And just so you know, once you're done with automation, you can press A on the keyboard, and the automation lanes disappear. They're still there, but you don't have to look at them all the time. And then just press A to get them back if you need to make adjustments. All right, that's it for this video. Go try this on a mix. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.